would have eaten anything anyway. Corn and soybeans, Indiana staples. Uh, two different types of tomatoes. Well, we have black pink it? tomatoes and yep. sun golds, which are really delicious. They're cherry variety. Green bell peppers cool. and jalapeno peppers and some nasturtium, which are edible flowers. Cucumbers and some uh, butterfly flowers. We have a spinach, a romaine, and a purple lettuce. We have two different types of potatoes. We have fingerling potatoes and red. A red or a purple. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We have a whole bed of herbs. We have cutting celery, sage, oregano, thyme, basil. Radishes. Uh, turnips. Yep. Yeah. Beets. Yep. Like that time. Bush beans. Yep. Ornamental uh, pea flowers. Yellow and carrots. You think that um, it's great to have sustainable things like gardens behind it and we can have our own local foods. Good for this. It's always something that I'd wanted to do and I never really get to garden at my house, so I decided and, it's pretty cool. And I've been gardening for a while and I like to garden with my grandma and stuff, so I just like gardening. It's because my mom wanted me to learn how to plant a garden. Because everyone can like share with it and like be closer. Um, I think it like, especially at the, at this Humanities Council and how people can come and they can see like, oh, you guys have a garden in the back, and then it kind of gets people talking about here in high school, and that kind of helps our school a lot. Carrots. carrots. Yeah, carrots. Like carrots. Probably carrots. Spinach, I guess, because I don't know if we're making Brussels sprouts. I'm excited about the peppers. I like peppers. I'm, I'm really excited about soybeans because I, I just developed like a craving for edamame this summer, and I was like, I want some. that the students had. They, everyone kind of researched what would grow in our region, what would grow well, and um, then chose what they would really like to practice planting and trying to grow. All student-driven.